In the year 2005, the Mountain West Conference and the University of Utah had not one but two number one overall picks in the NFL and the NBA draft. Alex Smith was taken number one by the San Francisco 49ers after a great season with Urban Meyer and the BCS busting University of Utah football team. And a couple of months later, Andrew Bogut was taken number one in the NBA draft by the Milwaukee Bucks. It was quite a year for Utah, and it was quite a year for the Mount West Conference. You know, for the football program, it was just another feather in the cap. You know, Utah football had been good, but they hadn't been a national scene type program. But I would say Urban Meyer made Utah football cool, even though he was only there two years. And Alex Smith's the trigger man, man. He's the one making all the plays, throwing the ball, running the option, doing all that stuff. He was the extension of Urban on the field, making it super cool as well. So it really elevated um, Utah football and kind of kept them in that national conversation all the way through from not just Urban and the BCS and the Fiesta Bowl, but into the NFL draft as well. I mean, Bogut was the centerpiece. He was this dominant big man from Australia, part of that early wave of Aussies coming and playing college basketball. But, you know, Utah was a basketball school. That's what pe people don't think that now. I mean, yeah, oh, kids, when I was, you know, they were a basketball school. It's still the 14th winningest program in college basketball history. Mount West people know Majerus was winning Mount West titles. You mentioned the championship game against Kentucky in 98. I mean, this was a basketball school. Bogut's junior year he just he was a double double machine utah had good personnel around him with his numbers and being a bit that was still a day where the big man kind of ruled the game of college basketball a little bit the back to the basket big man and andrew had a big personality as well and people saw that when he played for the warriors in the nba so it was the accent it was the game it was utah basketball and then they made that Sweet 16 run, too, which was a pretty good run. They ended up getting bumped off in the Sweet 16 down in Austin, Texas. But there wasn't a consensus, kind of like there was with Alex, that Andrew was going to be number one. It really wasn't until the days leading up to the uh, to the draft that, that Andrew kind of found out that he was going to be the number one pick for the Milwaukee Bucks. I, I think, you know, I think we saw it in subsequent years. I mean, the level of play on the Mountain West was fantastic. It was just the beginning of great NFL talent and great NBA talent. But I think it just reinforced to the country that while it was, you know, they were kind of wedged in between the Big 12 and the Midwest and the Pac-12 on the West Coast, that the Mount West Conference was producing every bit as good a talent on the high end as those conferences were too.